Hi, welcome back to Musician's Edition. Practice with me for flute. We're still working in the Rubank Elementary method for flute or piccolo. And today we're on lesson 32. We're working on chromatic scales. Now this is a scale that is used a lot when it comes to jury, uh, honor bands, any of that kind of stuff. This is a scale you'll need to know. Now the chromatic scale is where we go up each half step and we come down a half step each time as well. So you'll see that we have a lot of accidentals in here because that's how it's just written. Now when you're looking at the chromatic scale it's going to be either all sharps or all flats. So the way they have it broke up into this exercise is when it's going up they wrote it in sharps coming down it's written as flats why is that well that's because the sharps are going a half step higher so it makes sense to make it going higher and flats go down a half step so it makes sense to put them going down all right so let's give exercise number one a try it says keep thumb on the natural key so that's what we're going to do just keep your thumb down except for the c's other than that, your thumb's going to be down the whole time. All right. So it's going to just start us off nice and slow with half notes. All right. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Great job, how did you do? It does take a little thinking power going from sharps to flats, but it also will help you understand which ones are the same. So like for example, right off the bat, we have D sharp, which is the same thing as E flat. So it's good to see them both ways and you get more used to it and more comfortable as you go along. All right, let's do it again. Let's go a little bit faster. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. I hope you're still doing good. I'm sure you are though. All right, and what's also good about these chromatic scales is you can feel the difference in your embouchure from going low to mid to high. So that's also really good for our mouths too. All right, let's do this one one last time, a little bit faster even. All right, ready? One, two, three, four.
excellent job. All right, let's take a look at our exercise number two. So it's still going to be the chromatic scale, except now we're taking it into quarter notes. So let's just do this. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> And remember to wait out for the rest. All right, so another note about the chromatic scale is it doesn't only start on D. In fact, most people will have us start on C and it will always go to the octaves. So for example, here we start on D. So this is the two octave chromatic scale. So we went D, D, D. It will always go at least an octave. So if our chromatic scale were to start on C, we'd play C, C to C. It will never be anything else, it'll just be within the octaves. All right, let's give this one a try again, a little faster. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job, still hanging in there? Great, another side note is if you are going to do honor bands or try out for college or whatever, these chromatic scales are also expected to be memorized. So if you're going for something bigger, keep that in mind, work on it a little bit day to day to try to get it memorized. Um, after you work on it for a while, it's just going to be kind of a fingering memory kind of thing. So it'll work out just fine if you just keep on practicing it. All right, last time exercise number two, a little bit faster even. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, let's take a look at exercise number three now. So now we're going to be starting on G. And if you look, since we're starting with the G, it's going to change our key signature as well. So it's marked with the key of G. So we need to keep that in mind that when we see F, it's already sharp. All right, let's take a try at this one. This isn't going to be our standard scale. I see that it goes up and then it like comes back down and we start again. So it'll be a little different than what we've been doing, but it's still going to be working in half increments. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs>
great job. How'd you do on that one? That one felt like it took a little bit more thinking power since we were used to going up and then it switched notes on us. Though we already played the note, it took a little bit of thinking power. It also took a little thinking power remembering that we had F sharp off the bat instead of F natural. So if you need to write anything in, of course, do it. So I actually got a little confused on the E, because just the E natural on that bottom one there. That's an E natural, it's not an F or anything crazy. So write in what you need to. And even if you need to like write the notes or what they equal to, you can do that as well. Anything you need to do to help yourself to get there and remember what it is. All right, let's do it again. Let's take it a little bit faster. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Great job, how'd you do that time? If you're struggling with it, remember you can always take it at your own pace, do it note by note, take it with the metronome and work your way there, it doesn't matter. Whatever you need to do, you are in control here. All right, let's do it one more time, a little bit faster. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. All right. Next, let's take a look at the octave study exercise number four. So this is where we're just going to be working a little bit on embouchure more than like fingering since you know a lot of these fingerings are the same. So we need to get in control of our air of going low and high. So that's what this exercise is trying to get us to achieve. All right, so looking at our key signature now, we do have a different key signature. What key are we in? We're in the key of F, great. And we're still in common time, so four, four. I know we haven't talked about this this whole time, but you know. All right, let's just give this a try. Be mindful of your breathing, breathe from the diaphragm. Think about your air streams and your embouchure. All right, ready? One, Two, three, four. <laughs>
great job. How'd you do? I always struggle with that E natural, but that's just high E natural in general. How do you do on those? Great. It also helps that we're tonguing this so you have a little bit of time to adjust without having something funky in the middle. All right, let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Great, how'd you do that time? A little bit faster. Did you feel it was easier or harder? Let's do it one more time. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Great job. All right, let's take a look at our last exercise of the day, number five. So this one goes more into the scale doing octaves though. So you see it's F, F, G, G, A, A, B, B. So we're gonna do the scale, but it's going to just be the two notes, one high, one low, one high, one low. So, and there is a repeat at the end of this one, so Let's take the repeat as well. All right, ready? One, we're, we'll take it slower and because it is quarter notes too. All right, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Great job. Did you remember to repeat? Excellent. All right, let's take it a little bit faster. We'll repeat again because remember, the more we do it, the faster and better we'll get it. All right, a little bit faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Great job, how'd you do at that speed? Getting it? You can really feel the work that goes into our mouths here, can't you? All right, let's do it one last time for good luck and let's take it a little bit faster. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you.
Excellent job! All right, if you have any questions about the chromatic scales or the even octaves, let me know in the comments. All right, make sure you practice this. This is a really good lesson to go over multiple times between the scales and the octave study. Both are great exercises to continuously keep practicing. All right, don't forget to hit subscribe, like and notify so you don't miss any of our practices. All right, thanks for joining and until next time.